David Bridge. David Bridge. And your name? Zachary Bridge. Zachary. Okay, tell us what you saw. Well, we were playing basketball and we turned around after we heard a loud noise and there was a lady falling down the stairs with her three-year-old son. After they fell, they hit the ground. She tumbled all the way she, down those she stairs. She tumbled all the way down. With the child? Under her. Okay. It was like she, it kind of looked like she was holding on to him, but it was kind of hard to tell. It was just, it was okay. like a stunning situation. Like, we didn't really know what was going on. But um, after that, she hit the ground with him. The kid was screaming, crying. Uh, they, she gets up, picks the kid up, and his dad was over there by the gate. Uh -huh. And he was yelling her name. She wasn't responding to him, nothing. He's like, Pam. Pam and she still didn't reply and he's like wow that's real good parents and you don't check to see if your kid was okay or anything like that was a hard fall for a three-year-old and his mom to land on him uh -huh. I'd say that was pretty rough and she just got up and carried him he was crying didn't didn't check to see if he had any cuts bruises nothing just continue to walk she come through about right here I was standing over there I had the basketball and she just I don't know what she was doing like honestly in my opinion there was a big mud puddle I thought she was gonna put him in it because he was bleeding I don't know why, it was just my first, I didn't know what was going on. She just come out and seeing them fall down the stairs, it's like, wow. And they come over here, she walked around the mud puddle, she comes around, looks back, and now I'm over there, and she started walking towards me, and I, and like, the look in her eyes, she like seemed raged, like she was gonna hit me or something, and I just started backing up slowly, and she, she continued to follow me, and I started to back up, and I jumped over the water puddle, <clears throat> and I started heading toward my house. And then she, um, she's like, yeah, you better leave, you nasty. And she said a swear word. But um, after that, I ran upstairs, and I, I didn't really know what was going on. She just came at me. I thought she was going to attack me or something. So I just went upstairs. I informed my dad what was going on. And he was still out here. So I was trying to call him, couldn't get to his phone, nothing. Uh -huh. So I, my window's on the other side of the house. Like, I could still hear the basketball bounce, and it stopped. And then I heard, um, and then I heard the car alarm go off. Then she um, she went in that apartment right over there. Yeah. Uh, she just walked in, didn't knock nothing, just walked in. And she um, attacked a, tried attacking. Her name's Heather. Yeah. I just met her yesterday, but um, she attacked her, and she's like, get out of my house. That's what. And she got out. She comes out on the porch. She strips down, naked, naked, and then, she picked the kid up. She threw him. Over here. Over here. Just, just threw like, him on the ground. Threw him on the ground. Yep. And that's when the dad came over and picked him up and ran to the store. Okay. And she continued to follow them into the road, butt naked. And he's just yelling, Pam, Pam. Because he, he, the kid was severely hurt. Before that, she, um, she was over there sitting down, like on her butt. She had her knees like bent. She was choking the kid and spinning in circles and laughing. Now, I'm not really sure if that's human-like but that's pretty messed up in my opinion and by then he was on the phone with the cops next thing she walked to the stairs she got about halfway up the stairs and just fell on the concrete just straight fell off the stairs don't know why she laid there and then it's like she kind of like turned to like make sure she was moving and she got up and then she like climbed up the stairs on her hands like hands helping her uh -huh. up she gets to the top of the stairs and we continued to talk by the car, and it was me, him, uh, the lady that lives there, her boyfriend, and they had two kids, and his brother or something was inside with them. They were frightened. They how, didn't know what was going on. How long, how long before the cops showed up? Uh, um, how long were you on the phone? I was on the phone for at least a half hour. Really? It, it was, Calling for the police to yeah, come? Yeah, everything. And, and during that time, was she, was she yeah. assaulting her child? Yeah. And then she went upstairs, yeah. grabbed her dog. She has a 17-year-old pit bull. It's sick. It's blind. It can't. It's barely living. Like she's let it suffer for. And I've heard her and her friends talk about it. They said it's 17. It's a pit bull. It's really old. It's blind. It can't see. It gets lost okay. for days. And um, she just comes tumbling down the stairs. The dog was in her arms, and as if she like purposely fell down the stairs. And then when she hit, she like fell off the side. Maybe she meant to intend to go down, yeah. or whatever she was intending. Well, she hit the concrete, and then she ended up towards off, off like the concrete steps, and then she was just there choking, and she was just yelling random things like, Denise I don't know, Williams. Yeah, she um she said, "Oh, Denise Williams must die." And I, Denise Williams must die. Yeah. yeah. Now Denise Williams is her son's dad's mom. Okay. I found that out by another 
sure well, set. Okay. But, um, were you here when the troopers showed up? Yep. The troopers showed up. They they pulled in. We we showed her where they were. Um, the trooper got out the car. He um, said, let go of the dog. She refused. She didn't respond, so he maced her. Then um, he got her on her back. He uh, tried getting her arms off of it, trying to get the dog, and she still refused. And then he warned her, I'm going to tase you if you do not let go. And she refused. He warned her one more time. If you do not let go of the dog, I'm going to tase you. Soon after, he, he shot her with a taser, and then he got her in cuffs finally. She was laying on her stomach, still butt naked. And um, the EMTs placed like a yellow cloth or something over her to cover the nudity. And um, the dog was fine. They put the dog on a leash. She was just laying there. And then um, there was an ambulance here. He, the first ambulance came. They went over and got the kid. They took him to the hospital. Yeah. And they um, brought a gurney and everything. They got her all strapped in, and the egg, some then, guy he come from up the road. Yeah, he heard it on the scanner. Um, he come up and then he said some about having. Uh, she had open heart surgery two days before yesterday. Time. She had um stents, stents put in her stents. heart, and um. They he uh, told the the cop waved him over they talked and the, then the, the police officer didn't know about the stents before he tased her well no. they he mentioned the hard heart the open heart surgery and he's like when did she have it he's like two a day, two days ago so he's like come here come here and they talked and then shortly after she was um on yeah she was rushed on the hospital they put her in the ambulance on the gurney and do, do you feel that the state trooper um was justified, or did you do you have any problem with the way the tro the trooper handled this? No, no, I, th I think he did it the correct way. You do? Yeah, yes. I I believe that he he was in the right. She refused, and he warned her several times. She had enough time to cooperate. Was he, she was she combative? Com like able to comprehend what he was no, saying? No, was she fighting uh, yes. the, the, the Yeah, she trooper? was resisting. He w he had his knee on her back because she was yeah. well, she was handcuffed because like she was still trying to get up, and she was just up. screaming. And so he, he tased her after she was handcuffed? No, before. Before. Because he tried um, getting his, pulling an arm to, like, yeah. try to get one arm behind the back, but it wasn't working. So he uh, stood up, he grabbed his taser, and he's like, if you don't let go of the dog, I'm going to tase you. And she just kept choking the dog, and he said it one more time, and sure enough, she didn't let go. She was tased, and then finally they just got her in cuffs, and then... What do, you, what do you think about all of this? Uh, she she died at the hospital. What do you what do you think about all this? Um, I think it, I don't really know what to think of it. Like it was just like stunning. It all just happened like quick. I don't, I'm not really sure what to think of it. Kind of. I mean, it was obscene. It was wrong. I no child that age should, no child at all should be treated like that, right. especially at that young. And now, how the kids being put? I guess he's with family now, but still to lose your mom at three years old after getting beat up. Over yeah. possibly bath salts, it's it's terrible. I don't. I mean, I've had a rough life. Everyone has. I mean, I don't. No one deserves that. It's it's just wrong. Wrong. So she. It was pretty obvious to you guys she was high on drugs. Yeah. Um, I was positive when she come at me. It was kind of cool really? cage. Like she just. I could just tell. Look in her eyes. I was just like, yeah, this this is not good. I just got a gut feeling. I didn't feel right. I thought she was gonna attack me. And I heard of the other cases of what happens on bath salts. And, right. and then after, I looked up the um, side effects. The side effects, and they just about match up to what I what seen last happens. night. Okay, guys, thank you. Last night by this woman. Yes. Well, I seen her. We heard a noise, like a growling. Maybe it was a dog and a kid screaming. So we came outside and we looked, and there she is laying on the ground, holding her three-year-old baby, beating him in the head. And we started to go down and to. We were yelling, saying, stop, leave the kid alone. And then my door was still open, and I we were running back in the house to shut the door, and she barged right in, came in. She threw me up against the counter, swinging at me, like, yelling, and her lips were blue, and it was just like, oh, my God. And she grabbed me by the hair and was, like, walking me around my house, and yeah. then I got a hold of her and got her down and pinned her down on the ground on her hands and knees. And then she calmed down for a few seconds, and then I escorted her out, and then she stood here on my stairs and stripped naked, completely naked, 
she ran across the road over to the store butt naked they didn't let her in she turned back around still yelling and screaming and she went up to her apartment over there in the hotel and came back down with a dog a pit bull holding the dog falling down the stairs with the dog and laying on the ground like strangling this dog like grabbing him at the throat pulling the legs and I just can't believe it um she uh did you see the police uh subdue her the trooper yes they tried calming her down the fire department got here and then the state trooper got here and they sprayed her with mace and it still didn't have any effect on her she was still rolling around on the ground with the dog choking the dog and then the police officer like warned her five or six times i'm going to tase you you need to let the dog go you need to calm down we need to put handcuffs on you and she still didn't cooperate and he had to tase her you feel that he was justified in how he handled it? Yes. She was that combative? Yeah, it was pretty scary. Um, what, do you, what do you think about all this? I mean, she was supposedly high on bath salts. And it was scary, and it's nerve-wracking that it was so close to home. Did you hear that uh, she had had a heart operation just like two days before? Yeah, and the trooper didn't know that until someone else came along and was like, whoa, she just had a heart surgery a couple days ago. She just came home. and. You know, nobody knew that until after the fact she was already tased. Yeah. Well, uh, how are you doing? You okay? All right, yeah. Yeah? My six-year-old daughter was kind of, you know, scared because she was in the house when it all happened, and she went, came out this morning, and she opened up the door to see if she needed a sweater on to go to school, and she goes, she closed the door in a hurry, and she's like, Mom, she's out there by the stairs. I'm like, oh, my God, no, she's not, honey. You're not going to see her anymore, but okay. it was traumatizing. Okay. Thank you very much.